<laughs> we are currently at Disney Tokyo. Wait, wait. <laughs> Tokyo Disney Sea. And we're gonna be here for rope drop. It opens in like what what time is it? Like five minutes? Uh yeah, like right now. Like right now. Yeah. Anyways. So we were looking at the the park through the the windows of the little monorail and it looks crazy so lots of new stuff we haven't ever seen or been on that at just Tokyo Disney Sea so we're super stoked there's a bit of a line but because the rope hasn't dropped yet it's not open it's kind of crazy but Hopefully, all goes well. Don't wait for too long out here, but otherwise, we're excited for another full day at Disney. Aren't we, Javi? Yeah. <laughs> He's thrilled, but let's go. Yeah. So these are the lines to expect at rope drop. This is just the line to get through security. And then once we get through security, there's another smaller line to get into the park. But overall it's moving actually pretty quick. I think we've only been here like 10 minutes. Yeah. It's actually it's only 66 degrees out here and it's feeling like it's 90 degrees. The humidity is killing us right now. Yesterday when we came a little bit later, there's absolutely no line at all to walk in. So it might be worth it just to wait like an hour past rope drop and just uh, walk in. I'm not sure if it's like at capacity on the days that we're coming since it's kind of a, at a weird time. But honestly, I think it's uh, better just to wait a little bit. Disney in Tokyo and Shanghai, so you're definitely on the hunt for that. How cute! There's a little turtle's ears. So this ride is Journey to the Earth. Obviously it's uh, based on that book. I think it's a book first, yeah. and then there's also a couple of movies that Disney made. The theme for the ride's really cool. We're just walking through this like cavern, it looks like lava spills everywhere. Like in a volcano. Yeah, you can say, oh, is this the one where like, you can see it outside, like on the volcano? Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, this ride looks really cool. So yeah, I'm excited to see what it's like. We will report back and let you know how we rate this ride. Alright, we just came down the main. I don't know how this We just came down the mine shaft, I guess. And now we're gonna get a little mine cart. Little mine carts are so sick. This is so cool. All the sets and stuff are wild. So cool. Yeah. There goes the little mine cart.
Okay. So, journey to the center of the earth was sick. It actually, it's like a pretty short ride, it though. Is, yeah, That's it, I was expecting it to be a little bit longer, but it was really cool. Yeah, it was really short, but it's a really cool ride. Um, ends up, it's actually a lot more exciting than I thought. I didn't look at like what you actually did on the ride before we went on it, but yeah. really fun ride. Yeah. Worth the wait, but I think. If you can get in the single rider line, that would probably be way more worth it. If you could wait like so 30 minutes, it would be more worth it at that point. So next up, we're gonna go get some, <coughs> what are we getting, snacks? Uh, yeah, and coffee. Yeah, snacks and coffee. So, oh, fried pizza, yum. I got the spicy smoked chicken leg. And it's, thankfully it's like not huge, like the other ones, so good size. Let's try it. It was so good. Really? Mm, mm hmm That is delish. It's now time. Mm. Yeah. Okay, these are the chicken nuggies. Mickey. Mickey style. Typical. Yeah, it tastes like like Tyson chicken nuggets. We're fine. Five out of ten. <laughs> yeah, five out of ten. Okay, so we are headed to Indiana Jones. Right now, we just had a little snack. Um, feeling a little bit refreshed. You got your coffee? Yeah. But Indiana Jones looks really, really cool. Okay, we are going on the single riders line because we do not want to wait. Because we do not like waiting in line. So, I'm super excited about this ride. Are you excited about Indiana Jones? Mm hmm We're at Cape Cod Cook-Off. Oh, uh, and we got the bacon and egg burger. So, oh. So, let's see what that's like. So, oh. Oh, she's a little nasty. Oh, she's saucy. Yeah. yeah, very saucy. Oh, this is like, it's like, yeah, not like American bacon, it's like. Oh, like ham? Yeah, like ham. But the egg is like, oh, it, okay, it's on there. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. I feel like six out of ten. Yeah. Decent. Yeah, six out of ten. It's okay. I mean, it's not bad. Kind of like a like a school lunch. Like a cafeteria burger. A little bit better than like a school cafeteria, but not much. Do you want something? Uh, yeah. Please just give me a water. Good just regular, yeah. Okay. One thing that's nice about Disney Tokyo it, it seems like they have way less um, like refreshments to buy. It's not just like every every single second you don't just see like a refreshment stall. And they also have water fountains everywhere, so that's really nice. But yeah, it's like in Disneyland you just see you just see refreshments everywhere. I mean, popcorn every two seconds. But yeah, it's just nice, except when you really want something. But there's not a whole lot of variety, I I would say, on the snacks like there is in. Um, Disneyland or Disney World, but it kind of makes it nice. But yeah, what I was saying before is just, there's less food, but honestly it's nice not getting just peppered with things to buy every five seconds. And also there's a lot more drinking fountains, so honestly you don't need to have to be buying a water bottle every two seconds. It's only like 68 degrees and it's extremely hot, so it's nice to have those water fountains available. Taking a nice rest, much needed. It is very hot. 
I mean, technically it's like only seven degrees. Seven. I just said the exact same thing. Did you? Oh, you want this on? Yeah. Um, but anyways, yeah. It's nice to sit. We need to sit some more because we really never rest. So, gotta take some more sits so our feet don't go. But other than that, I am really grateful that it hasn't been raining today, knock on wood. Um, it might rain a little bit later, but we got really lucky with the weather today. It's a lot more manageable than standing in the rain the entire day, so it's been good. You might have to like, be careful what you wear when you're like Kyoto, like a temple. That's you know true. I mean, like, I'm just thinking, I mean, wearing, like, that's true. I guess that's like where I've heard most of it, but yeah. I don't so know. It might be different. Otherwise, everyone's wearing whatever they want. So. Yeah. Single rider? Okay. Um, so this is, uh, I don't know, what is this called? <laughs> I don't know either. So, this is Raging Spirits. So the roller coaster. Uh, we'll see what it's all about. It's over kind of by Indiana Jones. We're doing single rider, so we've been lined for about... Yeah, we've been lined for about one minute, so we'll see how long it takes to single rider. How was it? It was good. Did yeah. you like it? It was just like really short. It was so short. It was, I'm glad we only waited like five seconds. <laughs> I know. Or else that would have not been fun. Yeah, it was very short. I would not wait any more than about five minutes for that ride. Mm -hmm. But it was fun. Yeah. It was quick. Yeah. Well, it's uh, definitely worth the, the single rider. Yeah. The people sitting with me were not happy that they waited. Really? They were like, that was it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. People are sitting in it. It smelled so bad. Oh no. That was horrible. But Were they anyway. American? No, they're British. Uh, <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, now what? I don't know. I mean, Tower of Terror? Yeah, I guess we haven't even been to that area. Other than so. that, that's like kind of all the rides I wanted to hit. Yeah, this was kind of a baby one. The rest of them over here are kind of just like little rides. Yeah. <laughs> this is like the Disney Sea version of Autotopia. I think, oh yeah, I can see. Yeah. There's like little tracks you drive on in the water. I don't think you, they let you crash though. It seems like you have like a certain area. No, you're not driving them. No. It's just like a random yeah. track. I see. It's kind of like an AI track. Pretty cool though. So it's not like Autopia. It's no. called Aquatopia, I oh, think. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it just kind of drives you around. Pretty cool though. It is. We saw it broken down earlier and all the water was drained, but yeah. looks like it's back running now. Kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Right now we're heading over to Tower Terror. I think that's the last big one that we really need to ride. Yeah, I think we, they also have Soren, um, but it's like 70 minute wait. Ooh. Churro. Regular churro. Let's I do am it. gonna get that. <laughs> Yum. Is it shaped like Mickey? Oh yeah, it is. There we go. I'm gonna try a bite. Stick that right in my freaking eyeball. Normal thrill. Mm -hmm. Kind of crunchy though. Mm -hmm. I like the creme brulee one yesterday. The creme brulee. Yeah, that was good. That one's really good. <laughs> that is a cool 
cool hotel. <laughs> I guess it's also the food and wine festival here at Tokyo Disney Sea. So, so far I've only seen like one cart with wine. Have you noticed any other carts with? No, and it just said like red wine, white wine, like added to some like fruit drink. Yeah, with like some berries in it. So that's really the only thing we've seen so far. Um, I guess we just barely came over to this waterfront park. So we'll see if there's any more food and wine festival parts. Also, I heard that these machines only take um, coins and Japanese credit card, but we found out that it does take Suica. Um, so you have to do it kind of a couple times. Yeah, sweet. There we go. Yeah. How he says, actually, you're stupid and you don't know how to do it to me, so. But yeah, Suica is honestly super nice. So, if you have a Suica card, definitely. Just get it on your phone. Yeah, definitely just get it on your phone and you can use it for most everything so far here in Tokyo. Just like every guide was like talking about, oh, you gotta pick up your Pasmo or you gotta pick up your Suica. Like, yeah, you at the station. Not, just yeah. get it on your phone. It's you can do everything. literally so much easier to just get it on your phone because you're already carrying it with you. Plus, that way you don't have to worry about losing it. So, I would definitely recommend getting Suica on your phone. Okay, also we found out that the Food and Wine Festival, they have the different snacks and food in the restaurants. So, Food and Wine Festival. And I think it's just in this area, but so we got the barbecue um, fried chicken with like rice and it has like cheese and a little salad. I think it's pretty good. It's like, it doesn't really taste like barbecue sauce. It's more like, like Javi said, like a marinara, like a sweet marinara, which it's like the only way I know how to describe it, but it's not bad. It has like some like yellow rice. It's pretty good. The burgers were so bad. When we gave it a high rating of six out of ten, was it six or seven? Anyways, it goes down to four, like max, because it was disgusting. Anyway, so we didn't really. We had like half of it, and then we dipped. So I think we're just gonna kind of snack around a little bit. And yeah, basically get full off of snacks because what else do you do at Disney? Well, it's uh, pretty early. What time is it? Three. It's only three o'clock and we're leaving Disney Sea because we're done. We want to go explore Tokyo more. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, we're done for the day. We went on all the rides we wanted to go on, so honestly I'm happy. Well, as we're heading out, I think that Disneyland, Tokyo, and Disney Sea were both cute little parks. <laughs> um, cute little guys. There are some really cool rides, there are some cool setups for the rides. The, the line's really cool the, where you walk through, but yeah, a lot of the rides were short. Um, Luckily, we didn't wait that long in the lines because we did like single rider. Um, yeah. I don't know. We did a lot of stuff to make sure that, you know, we got fast passes when we could. So we didn't really wait too long at any point. But in some of them, I would have been mad if we did wait because they were so short. Yeah. If we paid more than we paid, which I think it's like, what, $60 or something? Well, coming. and oh. we like came here during like the low season. So it was cheaper uh, when we came because it's more expensive during busy season. Right. So I think we paid like the cheapest amount you can pay to come. So if it was like Disneyland prices, I would be pretty unhappy, I would say. Mm -hmm. But because it was low season, because we paid a low price, I think that it's definitely worth it just to even come and, and ride the things that we don't have in yeah. the US. 
and at other parks. So it was a lot of fun. But overall the experience was a little bit not as great as other parks, I'll just say. Yeah. Um, not as good of food, uh, not as good of rides, but the, the vibe and the cuteness is there for sure. So it was a lot of fun. Is it worth two days? I don't know. We could, we yeah. probably could have done it in one day. Yeah. Uh, if you just want to do the stuff that you don't have in the U.S. Yeah. So I would recommend. Keep that in mind. Yeah, just doing Disney Tokyo Sea. Yeah. If, yeah, definitely. If you want to experience something different. Yeah, because Disneyland's exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Unless you're OCD like us and want to just cross all the the stuff, all the parks off your list. So. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well. We're heading out, leaving the park behind, but had a lot of fun these last two days. Mm -hmm. Soaring up. And I think we're gonna leave without the rain hitting us today, so that's nice.